Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with something unique here. 2020 Leaf Autograph Baseball Bats from a three-box case. This is random team break number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is, I, I didn't see any more in the back. Here it is right here. You can kind of see the autograph baseball bat sticker right here. Three boxes per case, all sealed up. I did not see any more, but maybe we'll try to get some more. This is actually pretty cool. One spot gets you two teams. And here are uh, just some quick rules right here. If there is a team logo on the bat, obviously it'll go to that particular team, right? So if there's a Reds logo on a Ken Griffey Jr. bat, then it'll go to the Reds. Let's say there's no team logo. If they're an active player, it'll go to the team they're currently on. It's kind of like our college rules or non-pro uniform rules. Um, it's exactly like that. And if there's no team logo uh, and they're retired, then it goes to the team they played for the longest. So going back to the Ken Griffey Jr. example... Right, If there's no team logo on it, it would go to the Mariners, play with the Mariners the longest. If there are multiple team logos on there for some, for some wacky reason, it'll be randomized between those, those teams. Right, So if there's 18 team logos on there, it'll be an 18-way randomizer. I think that makes sense. There you go. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. One spot, once again, gets you two teams. So let's double up that list like Sir Mix a lot. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. All teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it three times. Two and a one. One, two, three. After three times, we got Brent down to TJ. I have no idea what the checklist is like. There probably isn't a checklist just for these memorabilia products. There tend not, tends not to be. So just... To roll the dice. Good luck. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got the Royals down to the Yankees. All right, Brent with the KC. Chris with the Diamondbacks, Fred, last spot mojo, Boston Red Sox, your other last spot mojo, Oakland A's. Jake with the Giants, Chris with the Nats, Stephen K with the Rangers, TJ with the O's, Chris with the Dodgers, you got my Dodgers, Jeff, Pirates, Twins, Angels, Chris with the Tigers, Jeff with the Padres, Stephen Kendrick with the Reds, Jeff, Braves, Phillies, Marlins, Roger with the Mets, Brent with the Rockies, Jeff with the White Sox, Edwin with the Brew Crew. Jeff with the Cardinals and Indians, Edwin with the Blue Jays, Jake with the Mariners, Roger with the Rays, Jeff with the Astros, uh, and the Cubs, TJ with the Yankees. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. There you go. All right, so uh, I'm going to pause the video really quick and allow people to kind of digest their teams and maybe do some trading. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. There were a couple trades, believe it or not. So Stephen Kendrick uh, is trading his Rangers to get the Reds. So we'll put a little T next to there for trade. Stephen Kendrick gets the Rangers. All right, so we'll see who draws first blood in that trade. Put a T next to there so you can keep track at home. Chris Day and uh, Roger Hoynes also made a trade. So Roger is out of the Ray spot, gets into the Tiger spot. We'll put a lowercase t next to there. And now Chris, Mr. LA, has the Rays, lowercase t right there. So you know th those two teams are connected together. Good luck, traders. Yeah, Stephen Kendrick, maybe, uh, maybe some trade mojo, but we'll see who draws first blood in that trade between the Rangers and Reds. One happy person, one sad person, Stephen K. You know how it goes. Trade at your own risk, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always, I'm always nervous. I've seen that. We've done this. We've done this group break silliness for a long time, boys and girls. So I've always seen trades go the wrong way so so often. That I was like, I would never trade. All right, here is the final printout right here. Three box random team number one, 2020 Leaf Autograph Baseball Bats. There's the official printout right here. Now, according to the uh, documentation from Leaf, that's also in our item description, 
uh, the baseball bat edition delivers one autographed baseball bat in every box. We've got a three-box case. Look for bats signed by Hall of Famers, superstars, legends, elite young players, or promising rookies. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. All right, so you can see the three autographed baseball bats right there. Slide one of these out. All right, baseball bat, one autographed baseball bat per box, it says on the text, 2020 edition. see this on the Nick cam right above my head right here. All right. Here is the bat. It's a good bat right here. All right. Now we get to play a few rounds of America's favorite game. Who am I? All right. I am a retired baseball player. Played with one team my entire career. Am I a Hall of Famer? I am a Hall of Famer with 81.2% of the vote from the Modern Era Committee. I'm currently a special assistant to the GM of the team that I played for my entire career. I've got a 285 batting average, 185 home runs, 2,365 hits, 1,003 RBIs. I used to be a manager too, also for the team that I played for my entire career, plus another team. A 187 and 302 managerial record. It's only 38%. Not very good. But Chad, Chad B's got, just from that information you guys got? Oh, I guess maybe the Modern Era Committee. Chad B, Tonin, and Jeff Peace all got it. It's Alan Trammell, and that's actually Roger... Draws first blood in that trade. There it is. Big stick professional model, Alan Trammell. You also get the Beckett card right here. If I can maybe show you the... Kind of hard to see at this angle because I've got TVs and stuff in the way, but there's a Beckett sticker on the bottom right there too with the corresponding number. Maybe I can show you on this camera right here. There it is. There you go, Alan Trammell. Here is bat number two. Good luck, everybody. Uh, no, Kevin, I'm, I'm afraid we do not. We're always running promos and giving away break credit and all sorts of stuff, too. So we do that instead of, instead of the other thing. All right. Okay, is there a team logo on here? I know he's played. this guy's played for a couple teams. No, it does not look like it. All right. Who am I? I'm sure he played for that team for much far longer than that other team, right? Oh, it's really interesting. I didn't realize he played for that team the longest. All right. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm a retired baseball player. Played for two teams my entire career. Right-hander. Uh, a 269 batting average. Lifetime. 376 home runs. 2,356 hits. Uh, 1,330 runs batted in. Inducted into the Hall of Fame. 
Uh, second ballot with 79.6% of the vote. 11-time All-Star. I was a Rookie of the Year in the early 70s. A Gold Glove Award winner. A three-time Silver Slugger. The two teams I've played on, um, they, uh, they have my number retired. In fact, on the first team I was on, it was number digit digit. I don't want to give it away. Some of you might know the number. I'll just tell you. I was number 27. And the next team I was with, I was 72. I just flipped the digits. Inducted in 2000. Right-hander. Nicknamed the Commander. And Pudge as well. That's a good, good catcher nickname right there. I was a catcher, by the way. Hall of Fame catcher, two teams my entire career. And I did not realize I played... 11 seasons with the team I thought he was on, but he played 13 seasons with the other team. Pilsen's 19. You've got it. Carlton Fisk. The Pudge was, was, was kind of a... I said he won the AL Rookie of the Year. He won Rookie of the Year in the early 70s. Pilsen got it. It's Carlton Fisk. Now, I think of him as a Red Sox, but he only played with the Red Sox for 11 years, 11 seasons, and played with the White Sox for 13 seasons. So this goes to the Chicago White Sox. That goes to Jeffrey Peace. He's pretty good. Fisk held the record for most home runs all time by a catcher with 351 since surpassed by Piazza and has held several age or longevity-related records, including most games play the position of catcher. 2,226, later surpassed by Von Rodriguez, another pudge. Which is crazy. Playing all those years behind the, behind the dish. All right. In a black bat right here, Chicago White Sox, he kind of bad. There's his autograph right there. Nice Carlton Fisk. He's got some good penmanship here. There's the Rawlings Pro. This one, where's the... Oh, there it is. The Beckett sticker. They don't have a card in this one for some reason, but the Beckett sticker is right down there. Not on the knob, on the, on the head of the bat. All right, nice. Unless you're in here. No, no Beckett card. Right. Still has a sticker. White Sox, once again, Jeffrey Peace. Nice. All right, and the final bat. No other bats hiding in here. Some pretty nice bats here. All right, an another retired player, but there's no doubt about it. He's played for one team his entire career. Eight time All Star, a World Series champion, an NL MVP in the late 90s. Two time Silver Slug. He only won Silver Slugger twice? I feel like a little bit more. Uh, a batting champion uh, kind of later in his career. That's interesting. And uh, my number retired by this team, part of this team's Hall of Fame, uh, and a first ballot Hall of Famer with 97.2% of the vote. Uh, lifetime 303, 2,726 hits, 468 home runs, 1,623 runs batted in. Not Molitor, not Gibson, not Brett. Switch hitter. That should start to give it away. Um, possibly the best switch hitter since Mantle. I think, and he also, from the left and right side, his average is pretty much the same. One side was 302, the other side was 303. Right, NL MVP in the late 90s. A World Series champion in 1995. That should give it away now. He won the batting champion in 2008. 
which I thought was kind of feels kind of late, but good for good for him. Yep, Jared Nichter's got it. Uh, the chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. Yeah, 2008. He was 36 years old, and he hit 364 that season. Jesus. Well, good, good for him. So that goes to the Atlanta Braves, and that's for Jeff. Jeff Peace. Jeff was nervous that he was gonna. Jeff nervous that he was gonna go uh, go hitless. There's Chipper Jones, another Rawlings Pro Bat. There's his autograph right there. Nice. Beckett card right here. The sticker's on it. It's kind of hard to see, but the sticker is on the knob right there as well. I'm going to keep it in the plastic to make it easy for the shipping team. Pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We'll try to get some more of this. I think that would be really nice. So appreciate everybody getting into it. That was 2020 Leaf Autograph Baseball Bats. Uh, three box random team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.